SBR videos are sponsored by Sports Cash System. Click on the link below for more information. Welcome everyone, I'm Jordan Sharp. Week number 13 of the NFL season is well underway after three Thanksgiving Day games. And now we are back here on a Sunday to continue the week with no more teams on by. And I have found a couple of picks that I think have incredible value for you here on this Sunday. They are my Sunday best bets. So we'll start it off in Indianapolis where the Titans are coming into town as a four point underdog. Total of around 44 to 45 points here between the Colts. Now the Colts and Titans played a couple weeks ago. Played pretty, it was a pretty good game, but the Colts edged out the Titans on the road by three. But in between those games, before and after, excuse me, the uh, Colts have been blown out in a couple of uh, a couple of games, and they did not look good on either side of the ball. We're out with 78 to 19 in those two games. Now they come in uh, after their three-point win against Tennessee a couple of weeks ago as four-point favorites here at home. But I do not think that that is where the pick should go. I think the Titans taking points have incredible value here against the Colts. Their defense being the main reason they've been playing outstanding football here recently. Already have a very good pass defense, but the Titans through their last three games only giving up 93 rushing yards per game on average and that's going to really limit the Colts offense I think in this game even though they are on the road Titans playing well last week on the road only gave up around 350 total yards of offense and I think they're going to play just as well this week against a very up and down and struggling Colts offense right now and even though they're playing at home I do not think the Colts are going to have a great game here so take the Titans plus four. The uh, second one I have for you is, of course, one of the matchups of the week between the Denver Broncos heading out on the road into Kansas City to play the Chiefs here. The Chiefs come in as a four and a half point home underdog here against the Broncos, and I am really liking the value they're presenting here at four and a half. Now, could the Broncos come in and blow out the Chiefs here? Yes, but if the Chiefs hang on and play good defense and rush the passer, I think they're going to play a solid game. They have a good game plan. They have Jamal Charles, who's going to run the football relentlessly in this game to try to keep excuse me, to try to keep Peyton Manning off the field. And in fact, they've been uh, the Broncos have been giving up a lot more rushing yards here per game than their team average suggests here so far this season. Over their last three games, the uh, Broncos have given up 130 rushing yards on average per game. And I think Jamal Charles is going to, and the rest of the uh, Kansas City backfield is going to have just as much if they are able to stay in this game. Their defense is going to get a boost here. They are going to get Tom Baha lead back here, but Justin Houston looks like he's going to miss a couple weeks, so that's going to hurt their pass rush. But with Tom Baha Lee, at least that gives them one more credible pass rusher here to try to get to Peyton Manning, who, which is their offensive line, has been very susceptible this season to the pass rush. And the Kansas City offense should play well at home. They, they really put up a dud last week on defense, but I think that was really because of the deflation of Houston and, and Holly going out in the same game, giving up a ton of points to a notably pretty hot Charger offense as well. But I think Kansas City will get back to their roots in this game, run the ball successfully against the Denver Broncos, and be able to keep Peyton Manning off the field and keep this game close at home. I think that in the air, in Arrowhead is going to be a very tough environment, even for Peyton Manning. And even though, of course, there is a chance that he comes in, drops another 40 points, and leaves the Chiefs behind by the third quarter, I do think that Kansas City can stay competitive in this game. Uh, and he, their offense, of course, did look good last week. So take the uh, Chiefs plus four and a half, add that to the Titans plus four, both those to your Sunday best bets here. Best of luck to you, and I'll see you next week. I'm Jordan Sharp, and this has been another edition of The Sharp Pick.